I'm your six math prodigy, this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to go into question number two of your assessment paper number nine on algebra. Algebra is superbly simple once you know what it is, so let's take a look at it. second question right now. It says a group of ex-boys plan to go on a camp. Each person, each boy brought food to last for 21 days. Later, two ex-boys joined the camp. How many days would the same amount of food last? Okay, so basically this story is very simple. It's a story of freeloaders. In other words, there was a group of ex-boys. Now, what does ex-boys mean? Okay, it's not, no, we're not, we're not talking about X-Men. We're not talking about um, the younger version of X-Men. Ex-boys is actually, if you know, like I said before, this letter or this symbol, whatever it is, is actually represents a number. Okay, we don't know what that number is. So we want to know what that number is. So in this case, let's just put this example, uh, let's just example just to make sure you understand the question. Let's say a group of 10 boys, okay? Um, so we read this as a group of 10 boys plan to go on a camp. Each brought food to last for 21 days. Later, two ex-boys joined the camp. How many days would the same amount of food last? In other words, the boys who just joined the camp are two ex and they did not bring any food. That's what we are assuming because that's what the question is asking. They never bring their own food. So 2x actually equals to 2 times 10, which gives you 20. 20 boys. So another 20 boys came and shared the food. So how long will it last? Uh, so to do this question is very simple. Let's just imagine for a while. Uh, these 10 boys brought food for 21 days. Okay, 21 days. So 10 times 21 will be the number of days it can last, the food can last, which is 210 days. Now, let's say if two ex-boys join, that means there are now three ex-boys, which in other words, 2x plus x is equal to 3x, which gives you 30 kids. If there are 30 kids right now, will it be, um, will it last longer or will it, will it uh, last uh, much shorter than it was supposed to? Of course, much shorter, right? Because now there are more people to share it with. So if there were only ex-boys, it would be actually 210 days. But if let's say it's three ex-boys, is 210 divided by 30. Uh, here. It gives me only 7 days, which makes a lot of difference, which means that we are expecting a smaller number. Okay, so let's take a look at this. They did not tell us what number, so we're just going to assume is as X boys can last us for 21 days. Okay, so that means the number of days is actually 21 times X. In other words, 21X. Then another group of boys came in, so 2x boys came in, and then you plus the current group of boys, which is 2x plus x, gave me 3x. Now, how many, how many days are we left, uh, this food can last? We take the original number, which is actually how many days it could last, okay, which is 21x, we divide it by the total number of boys, makes sense, right? So now, see the trick, see the magic happening. 21x divided by 3x, what do we get? Ah, this is very interesting. I'm going to show you this. So cancel the x, cancel the x. 21 divided by 3 gives me 7 days. It's still the same answer. So interesting, isn't it? I mean, just now we got 7 days. I used the number 10. So we can use any number. We can even use uh, 20 or 100, whatever it is, for x, and we will still get the same answer, 7 days. That is the beauty of algebra. Okay? That's the beauty of algebra. So the answer is 7 days. If you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. Okay, so let me squeeze in another question here, which is question number three. Okay, we're going to do this very fast. Karen scored two X marks in English and X marks in mathematics. Her score in science was 60. If the average of her total marks is 60, then what, her, what is what, what's her score in English? So very simple. First off, for these kind of questions, I like to write it down to make it very, very visible to myself. So I'll say English, she scored two X marks. Math, she scored x marks, is it? Okay, uh, English, 2x, maths, x, science, 60. Math, x, science, 60. Okay, 60 marks. So they said the average of the marks was 60 marks. In other words, if you were to add up all these numbers, which is 2x plus x plus 60, what will it give you? It will give you the average of 60. In other words, total is equal to 60 times 3 because average of 1, 2, 3 subjects. So we get 1, oops sorry, 
1.80. So in other words, we can form a simple equation, which is 2x plus x plus 60 gives me 180. Ah, now what do we do? Like I told you before, put the numbers and the variables on different sides of the equal sign. So 2x plus x, we put it on the left-hand side, 3x equals to 180. Now, look at this. Okay, when, whenever you have a plus num or a minus, whatever it is, when it goes over to the other side of the equal sign, it changes the sign. It transforms to, into a negative or a positive. So in this case, plus 60 becomes a minus 60. So one, 3x equals to 120, then to find x. 3 units of x equals to 120, 1 unit of x equals to 120 divided by 3, which gives me 40. So the question is asking you for um, what was her score in English. So we're not done yet. yet. Uh, the answer actually is 2x. And if x is equal to 40, 2x is equal to 40 times 2, which gives you 80 marks. So the answer for question number 3 is actually 80 marks. If you got that one right, high five to you because you are a math prodigy. Good job. All right, like I said, algebra is superbly simple. All you have to do is to decide now to have no fear about math. Math is fun. Math is so amazing to me, at least, okay, to me. And I want you to feel the same way about it. And the only way for you to do that is to stop being so scared of it, all right? Uh, just make sure you keep that in mind. And with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off saying you are a math prodigy. Good job.